watch your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I got a chance to watch the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the whole series, and I must say it's fantastic. I enjoyed the series from top to bottom. Um, I actually, I must say the uh, WandaVision series they had, um, I want to say maybe a couple months back, I watched that as well, and I enjoyed that as well. But for me personally, I think this series is better in my personal opinion only because of the certain issues that they bring up when they start talking about captain america and who should be the next cap and and how things have changed since uh people have been dis you know returned from the blip so this uh video will be full of spoilers so if you haven't seen the falcon and the winter soldier series go check it out right now on disney plus it's it's worth the watch and definitely check out one division um marvel is killing it right now with the little tv shows that bridge the gap between the movies and what's going to be happening in the future so definitely check those both out but definitely check out this one this one is fantastic in my personal opinion so spoilers will be throughout the entire video also my voice is a little bit messed up right now because i'm still kind of under the weather but i definitely wanted to bring this video to you guys so we can have a discussion i'm not going to go over everything but there will be spoilers sprinkled throughout this uh this little series review um so this takes place i want to say right after infinity war when cap comes back and gives the shield to sam and it deals with sam's like thought process of how to really be captain america and if he can live up to those shoes and honestly he he he's not really feeling it so he ends up giving the shield to the government he's like yeah i'm just pass this on to the government i don't think i can take on the mantle of being captain america so he does that and of course there's some people that don't really agree with it mainly bucky he doesn't agree with sam giving up the shield he feels that cap gave the shield for a reason and you giving it up is like kind of a slap in the face to cap like he chose you for a reason why are you giving it to the government what's wrong with you so they have this little conflict between them because sam is trying to fight with the idea of him trying to live up to that to the idea of being captain america a black captain america at that and bucky doesn't understand like it's we're in a different time period you know i mean granted racism and you know has always been a thing and how people view black people in this country has always been a thing since bucky was you know fighting around with cap back in the 30s and stuff like that back in the day um before he came to the winter soldier but he he still doesn't really understand that times hadn't really changed as much as he think it has it has but not in the sense of having a black captain america and i i've seen some people criticize this show bringing up race but you gotta keep it balanced in some type of realism let's be honest here having a black captain america for some people wouldn't be a problem but for a lot of people it would definitely raise an issue of i don't know about this i don't know how i feel about my captain america being black so i like the fact that disney didn't stray away from that and they definitely expounded on that and this is what sam is fighting with internally like, I, how do i do this i don't know if i can do this so they end up giving the shield a character in the show called john walker he's like this upstanding blue collar american citizen got multiple medals and stuff like that and they give it to him you kind of not really feeling his vibe he's definitely giving off some great value captain america looks like he just not really you just feel like something's off with him and then you understand as the show goes on that he's not built for this you know he's trying to live in the shoes will fill the shoes of captain america steve rogers and he's nowhere near accomplishing that he's trying to befriend bucky and and sam it's not really working um he also has this like this like uh, a friend of his own like you know someone a companion of his own go by Battlestar. um 
And it's one of those things where you can tell he's already on hinge. And then there's some certain things that happen that cause him to really go off the deep end. Now, the main conflict in this series is the Flag Smashers. Basically, they're a group of individuals that came back from the blip, but now they don't have nowhere to live. They don't have any like establishment. They don't they're they're pretty much screwed because they've been gone for five years. They come back, they don't have no homes, they don't have no jobs, they're just randomly displaced in these little refugee camps, and the government's not really assisting them like they should. And I like the fact that they they really deal with the ramifications of people just randomly popping back into the world after five years of being gone. I think that's dope because it would cause some chaos and confusion. Could could the main leader of the Flag Smashers, uh, Carly, um, been a little bit more fleshed out and you could kind of buy into what she's saying in, in correlation with her actions? Yes, because I feel like they were on the right track with her, painting her as a sympathetic villain, Villain, but she was starting to do stuff where it's like, I get your cause, but I'm not buying you, buying in much into your theory anymore because now you're, you're hurting and killing innocent people to push your agenda and message. At what point does it end? And that's what Sam is trying to get her, get her to conv like, understand. And that's why through the show you can see sam really transitioning into a good captain america because he's not trying to go for the kill he's not trying to hurt her in a sense of like just uh, take her off the board even though other people are saying you're gonna you may have to kill her he's not trying to he's always trying to find a way to reason same way with uh with cap he always was trying to find a way to reason before have before resorting to lethal violence so i thought that was cool now their correlation the flag smashers and carly and like them being called terrorists their correlation with john walker is one of them ends up killing battlestar ends up killing like you know pretty much john walker's best friend and because of that john walker's already on hinge he ends up taking one of the super serum uh uh, vials he ends up taking one and he goes off on the deep end and he ends up killing one of them who he thinks killed his friend which wasn't the case he ends up killing one of these individuals and everyone sees it it's flashed all over the world and it's one of those things where it's like yeah he's definitely lost it he's gone a wall he's he's lost it at this point and you can see he's definitely not a fit for Captain America. He, like he's just not a fit to he's not fit to be in that type of pressure situation and represent America in that way. You know what I'm saying? So I like the dynamic of his character. Cause even then you get it. Cause he just saw his one of his best friends die. The serum is also messing with his mind as well. But at the same time, you knew the pressure was gonna get to him at some point. So I like how they they don't just make him out an all right villain after he kills someone. They kind of really go into trying to get you to empathize with him as a character as well. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. Just talking about some noticeable character moments and things that I really was enjoying about the show. Um, Bucky, man, they really dive deep into his psyche and what he's been going through. Um, he was with the Wakandans at a point and they basically helped him overcome the 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 Hydra mind control. Like when they say a certain few words, it controls his mind and he, he switched back into the Winter Soldier. They were able to help him overcome that. So I thought that was cool. And he's just really trying to right his wrongs for the things he's done in the past. Uh, there's a scene that he befriends an old man but the old man that he befriends he killed his son and the old man doesn't know what happened to his son and he does and he's literally just trying to do his best to befriend him and you know be there for him at the same time it's still eating him up inside because he's he killed his son you know what i'm saying not because he wanted to it's because he was under control of hydra so 
it was just one of those things the son was at the wrong place at the wrong time so i i like the dynamic of him just trying to overcome that i think that is that is also just fantastic to see like it gives more character development and you care more about these characters even more than you did before because they're really diving into what what their problems is and, and what they're trying to overcome um let's see uh zemo you guys remember zemo he was one of he was the main villain for civil war and he caused that friction between the avengers and they bring him back and he's honestly one of the best characters in the film or well, in the series like he's so he's you didn't know he had so much personality i i do feel like they kind of retcon zemo in this in this series because i don't remember him having that much personality in the film in civil war granted you know he was just on a mission you know on a mission to take down the avengers and in this situation he's more on a mission uh well bucky is enlisting his help because he knows all about the super serum uh super soldier serum and how that entails and you know he's he's kind of well versed in that and he's not a big fan of the 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 super strong the super serum taking individuals he's not into that he he doesn't he doesn't like the superhuman individuals so i love him in the show i would not trip if there was a mini series of him you know you know on his little adventures you know like just more or more like tailor into what he does you know what i'm saying and at the end of the show of course he gets locked up again but i'm sure they could definitely you know strike a deal with him he's able to get out if he does something for the government or whatever i'm not sure but definitely he was fantastic in the show for the episodes that he is in so definitely they they know how to make a villain he's technically still a villain but they make him a likable character which i thought was very interesting and, and actually quite a surprise so shout out to disney and everyone that's involved that was involved in the show for somehow you know really you know making these characters more than just one dimensional human beings you know what i'm saying sharon carter she makes a return she's been on the run for the past few years from the government and stuff like that but you ultimately ultimately find out she's the power broker she's the one that gave uh carly and the flag smashers their um super soldier serum she's behind it all she's the mastermind behind it all i thought that's dope she went from someone that was good-hearted was in love with you know was had this affection and love for captain uh captain america uh, steve rogers to now this like I guess you could say like a, a a villain in a sense who's only there to make monetary gain off of weapons and 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 powerful super soldier serums to distribute throughout the world. She doesn't care how many people it hurts. She's just trying to make her money. Like that's she's the power broker. She's dishing out power to whoever has the money to pay for it. So I thought that was a nice character switch a lot of people kind of peeped that it was her but it was still cool to see how she has fallen so far from where she was in the movies to now just this individual like i don't really care i'm doing what i want to do and if you like it cool if you don't that's cool too um i'm out here to make some money um i want to say the one character that i really enjoyed that i felt really had a lot of emotional weight too and he was a minor character but he plays a part into bucky's not bucky he plays a part into sam's psyche on being the next captain america and that is isaiah bradley isaiah bradley used to take the uh the, ser the, the super soldier serum back in the day and he was one of the like one of the very first black super soldier serum takers like you know what i'm saying and he basically was doing things for the government but he pretty much didn't get the same type of treatment that steve got and it was one of those things where they really dive deep into his hatred for the government in america because they pretty much locked him up and they tested on him for like 30 years 30 plus years or something like that where they're just testing on him to see why the serum worked so well with him and not other people like it was it was really heartbreaking 
and powerful at the same time because he's also saying yo if you have any right mind you would not be the next captain america and that's what he's telling the sale and it's just one of those things where they really do a good job of painting the picture of multiple pers perspectives and why someone would feel the way they feel compared to someone else and i love that i love that and i think the way they end off uh his story was beautiful as well um sam finally was able to give him the recognition he deserved by putting his name in a statue in the hall where you see all the captain america mirror uh, like information and stuff like that and they put his name in there and so he could get that recognition that he deserved which i think was dope and amazing and very it was a heartfelt moment there definitely a tearjerker so i definitely love that aspect and of course i gotta talk about this the suit the armor when he finally takes on the mantle of captain america and he gets the new suit that is pretty much gifted to him by Bucky. Bucky calls in the favor to the Wakandans because uh, he gets a new suit. His suit ends up getting destroyed previously. Like his suit gets destroyed uh, by um, um, by Walker or uh, whatnot, uh, by John Walker. And when John, Bucky, and Sam are fighting to get the shield from John after he murdered someone in front of people, they end up having a brawl and the dude rips off his off his wings so he ends up getting a new suit and it met you know it goes well with the armor it's dope i love it bro and i like the fact that he's he's conveying that i don't need the super soldier serum to be a hero i all i got is my wits this tech and who i am you know what I'm saying the heart and the courage and that's what also made steve different because he always had that hero type vibe and essence before the, the serum and the same way with uh sam he's always had it before the wings and he never needed the serum to be a true hero and i like that it was it was very dope to see the suit and the armor come together it looks very clean and i'm looking forward to seeing what they do you know in future films with him being the new captain america uh they also instead of you know saying just kind of writing off john walker uh he ultimately ends up turning into the u.s agent or whatnot he's basically like he's more under the radar because they kind of the government's like yo we don't want nothing to do with you you know say we ain't gonna put you in jail but we're gonna take away all your you know your honors and stuff like that so he's kind of working like with the government but like on a under like a underground level type situation like it's it's not publicly known that he's working with the government but he's more behind the scenes like he'll be doing those stealth op missions because he still has to start uh the serum like the super soldier serum within within his body so he'll you know he's now going to be known as the u.s agent uh he also has a nice little mini redemption you know he had a chance to kill carly in uh the last episode but he chose to save some some you know some innocent people some civilians uh whatnot and i thought that was nice for him to let go of that anger for just that second to actually be a hero and i thought that was cool like i said it doesn't it doesn't the show doesn't paint one person he has to be this archetype or she has to be this archetype they they kind of give you layers into people's psyche and and how they operate and it's not just one-sided affair so honestly i love this show this is, was a very fantastic show in my opinion i know a lot of people you know feel that it's a little bit too preachy and it is involving race but i do think when you're talking about captain america and you're talking about you know someone new being captain america and they're actually be, you know a black person being a captain america you have to bring up race because it's not just gonna be no smooth transition so but comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this series and if you're looking forward to any of the future future marvel tv shows that they will be having and if you guys are okay with sam being captain america in the upcoming films and future projects i know i am i think they 
uh anthony mackie killed it in this role he's one of the best actors in the show everyone really killed it acting wise and i just enjoyed it for me personally so comment down below let me know i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all on the next one peace <laughs>